What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. And today I want to talk about the summer update that we're all looking forward to. Of course, it's going to be the update with the three new roles, the bounty hunter, uh, the trader, and of course the collector. And a lot of people are really looking forward to this. And there's a lot of things kind of floating around online, kind of some gaming websites talking about this, uh, a few uh, community forums talking about this. And before I get into what they're really discussing, I want you to know you can take this with a grain of salt. This may be completely wrong. I don't know if I believe all of it uh, 100%, but at the same time, I kind of do believe some of it. But like I said, take it with a grain of salt because it may all be completely wrong, but I want you guys to know this info as well. A lot of people are discussing the time frame for when this update will be released. And in my opinion, I thought it would be within the next two to four weeks. Some people thought it would be as early to as tomorrow. You know, that would be a, the Tuesday kind of normal update day. We get all our clothes and, and game modes and things like that, that they've been doing for the last several weeks. So a lot of people thought tomorrow would be the big summer update. That would be June the 25th. I was looking more in kind of early July, in my opinion, but that was just my opinion. I could be completely wrong. It could be tomorrow. But a lot of people now are discussing that they don't think this will be released until mid-July till maybe even August. And the reason being is because they said they will they were thinking that Rockstar will release the casino DLC for GTA before they release the DLC for the update for Red Dead Online. Now, while I can kind of not understand it, I can't understand it at the same time. The first thing I will say is the reason I don't know if I believe it is that Red Dead is your newer game. It's only been out for seven months. You would think they want to keep the community they have there involved in it more, do some updates, get some players back, because a lot of people have kind of been turned off about the game with not a lot of content online, but as of late, we've got a lot more content, but to start with, there was not a lot of content and the connection problems. So if they would fix the connection problems, give us some good updates throughout the summer and into uh, early next year, I think it would bring the game back uh, kind of to the form it was in when it first, or when online was first released. Um, now, the reason I do see this kind of happening is GTA Online is definitely the bigger game. I mean, let's just be honest, it has a lot more of a player base and it has really blown up on Twitch. It's blown up on YouTube again. And it is doing really, really well with this new kind of role-playing thing that everyone's doing. So a lot of people are going back to playing GTA. A lot of people are still playing GTA. And it has always had a large player base. So at the same time, I could kind of see Rockstar doing it first because it, because it is their more popular game and they're making more money off microtransactions and things of that nature. I don't know what kind of money they're making off Gold Bars and Red Dead Online. I would assume probably not much, but I could be completely wrong. People may be buying more gold bars than I, I, I can imagine. But it is kind of concerning to me that, you know, people started talking about it on forums. There were some gaming websites reporting the same news. And I kind of thought it was odd that they kind of started doing this in the same time frame. It kind of got to me, got me thinking maybe there is some legitimacy to this. But like I said, take it with a grain of salt. Who knows exactly what's going to happen. I do know a lot of people were disappointed with last Tuesday's update. Now, I myself have said in some past videos, I did not think they could keep up that pace Tuesday or every Tuesday with the really good updates. New modes, new clothes, new this, new that. I do think they could have added some more weapons by now, but they have not done that. But I was kind of wondering if it was slacking off last week because they were preparing for that next update. You know, they weren't going to put as, or they were not going to put as many things in last week because, or maybe even this week because they were preparing for that large summer update. Hopefully that is still the case. I'm just kind of wary now that some of this could be true. Uh, GTA could get their update first. Now GTA could get their update this week or next week, and then Red Dead get there within a couple of weeks. We don't ever know because Rockstar is odd. They don't really tell you anything until like the day before or the day of when something's going to be released. So we're really just kind of sitting and waiting, but I'm hoping that uh, it, it's not true. I'm hoping that we get this sooner, like I said, rather than later, because I was wanting a large summer DLC and maybe another DLC or, a, or an update. I say DLC, I mean update. Uh, another update by maybe September and then a couple in the fall to the winter. So maybe four good updates from now until the end of the year because so far we've not got very many big updates since January. So I was hoping we get a lot of updates kind of towards the end of the year to improve the game. Leave me a comment. Let me know your thoughts. When do you think the summer update will be released? And of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.